I think it's a shirt. That's your idea. It's not actually a huh? Will, I think you got something good for you, buddy. Seventy-five cents. Seventy-five cents. Yeah. What is it? Dollar. Dollar. Dollar twenty-five. Dollar twenty-five. Oh, it's done. Whoa, scary. What was that? Dollar and a half. Dollar and a half. Dollar and a half. Dollar seventy-five. <laughs> Dollar seventy-five. Two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars once. Two dollars. Two twenty-five. Seven and a half. Two and a half once. Two and a half twice. Sold. Two and a half twice. Two and a half twice. Sold. Two and a half twice. <laughs> what have you got there, Billy? Wow, wow. Oh, you're all right. You think that's a gold thing in there? Two dollars. Two twenty-five. Dollar. Dollar much? Dollar ten. Dollar and a quarter. Dollar and a quarter. What's sold? Sold. <laughs> a three ring binder. Two dollars. <laughs> Gary. My name. Gary. You're not going to get that kind of return on Wall Street. <laughs> Here, he didn't get it yet. Oh, you have long fingers. Where's no. that? I don't know. He's from over yet. Dollar seventy-five. What? Two dollars. Two dollars. It's in there, Billy. See what he got? It's a shark. Oh my God! What is that? Tell me. Two dollars. It's a pencil sharp. Two twenty-five. Tell her it's pencil sharp. Two twenty-five. It's a pencil sharpener. Shorty. Shorty. The crayons. This is a blue stick. Oh boy. How'd you do? Sixty-eight dollars. Sixty-eight dollars. And I said we pay forty for the canoe, but we all must have three hundred dollars in our bank account already. Just from every is. year having a little bit left over. Really? We were kidding. We said some year we'll have a cater, but then I don't think the food would be as interesting if we had a cater here. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. She wants to throw things at Uncle Gary. Uh, Uncle Jim's heating up supper. Don't forget you. Now, other than the sawdust, I want you to examine this. What you are looking at, and, and then that can see it. But this is exactly the same thing, except this is not dried out in powder. As I said, this is anywhere from 50, 75 to 100 feet. Wondering. Go ahead and supply it. And if you did feed it, it would kill it, because it can't stand to have rich soil. Reconstituted bog, and I haven't yet found out what a reconstituted bog means. Uh, if somebody ever discovers, please tell me. But uh, I've been looking and I can't find out what a reconstituted bog is. I do know it's flooded. And I do know that if you go out there and hit boots, you start to try to wade, the more fish there are. Well, I was in the right spots. <laughs> <laughs> but, that's Two right. They, uh, very simply up in here, fish very shallow. Cheap. If you're fishing yeah. all, uh, or a fish, uh, weedless spoon across the top, or a weedless worm across the top. Is that because of what you mentioned about the temperature? They, they want to get warmer? Uh, 
water. Just feed in here, galore. Just feed in here. Because all your uh, small fish are in this area. Okay. And uh, plus the fact the, well, <laughs> used for diapers. You know, here they put this baby in the papoose so chair, they put it on the travel way, and they call around for a day. Man, that would be a mess when they got left. <laughs> but they weren't so dumb. Up in Canada, still, it's in the bog. Plants come along, they see the uh, the little red, and it does give a, an odor off, which attracts insects. They land on it, they get stuck. Now this plant is passive, it doesn't move. But the... It's Okay, well you're standing a sponge, you're going to get the two legs. But move up one foot. Now what? It is rock. Science, probably some space age no. medicine no. that will cure cancer and heart disease. And okay. okay, those are uh, dead bladders or dead balloons. Dead bladders. <laughs> <laughs>